Time is valuable, information is valuable, and here you get everything you need to know in less than 5 minutes. When playing solo queue, most people have some good days where they are literally unbeatable and some bad days where they go on an enormous loss streak and feel like they have no impact on the game at all. They get frustrated and lose even more before finally calling it a night. We've all been there and especially the bad days can really get to you as it feels like your endeavors to improve are bearing no fruit at all. And while you can't deny that some games are simply unwinnable no matter what you do, the truth is that in an overwhelming majority of your games you could have carried your team to victory had you been playing on one of your good days instead. The key to winning more games in League of Legends, and everyone knows that of course, is to only play on good days and to get rid of bad days altogether. Very few people however know how to actually do that, so let's break it down. First and foremost, you need to know that sleep plays a major role answering this question, and the reason for this is twofold. A bad solo queue day is typically a day on which you start playing ranked, eager to win some games, but then things happen that are not under your control, for example a solo laner on your team starting to feed, and you can literally feel how you get more and more tilted and your desire to tell them off in chat is growing uncontrollably. And sure, some people are arrogant douchebags who always flame their teammates for everything. We all have seen one of those toxic players at some point. But the truth about most players, and possibly about you, is on bad days you will lose your temper, stop trying your best and maybe even start flaming the teammate in question. On good days however, you will keep your focus and do your best to win, which increases your chances of actually winning dramatically. There are two areas in your brain that determine whether today will be a good solo queue day or a bad one, namely the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex. The amygdala is the emotional center in your brain, while your prefrontal cortex is responsible for rational decision making and acting as the amygdala's supervisor. If you didn't manage to get enough sleep last night, your amygdala becomes disconnected from your prefrontal cortex and starts reacting to negative stimuli up to 60% stronger than it normally would. Therefore, not sleeping enough will literally get you tilted. Consequently, after nights in which you did not get 8.5 hours of sleep opportunity, the deck is heavily stacked against you and you should rather play normal games to relax. On top of that, you should also get your full 8.5 hours of sleep opportunity after a day of climbing the solo queue ladder, as in a full 8 hour nights of sleep, your brain experiences so-called stage 2 NREM sleep during the 7th and 8th hour. In this state, your brain consolidates motor skills and makes them second nature. This means that you lower your reaction time and get more precise at what you've practiced the day prior. You literally get better at last hitting minions overnight. So while healthy sleep acts like a kind of tilt insurance for you, you can naturally still end up with a team full of monkeys that seem to only exist in order to ruin your day. Additionally, some people are just naturally more short-tempered than others, and if that's you, then you simply need to know your weaknesses. The safest strategy is of course to quit solo queue for the day after a single defeat. This will 100% stop tilt-induced loss streaks from happening. But again, you need to know yourself. I for example consider myself rather tilt-proof, so I call it quits only after the second defeat of the day when I'm tryharding on my main account. By using frustrating losses as a clue to stop, you are also increasing the value of your win streaks you experience on your best days, because there are no more losing streaks that can even them out. In order to climb even faster, you should also make use of your option to dodge games in champ select if necessary. Many of those games that are unwinnable no matter what can already be recognized as such before they start. People flaming each other in champ select, you dodge. Someone on your team acts like they are tilted pre-game or is threatening to troll, you dodge. Dodging games is literally free. You lose 3 to 10 LP per dodge, but LP do not matter. The only thing that matters for climbing is your matchmaking rating, MMR for short. Your MMR is a hidden value which increases after a win and decreases after a loss. The higher your MMR, the more LP you gain after a win and the less LP you lose after a defeat. If you dodge, your MMR will stay the same, which means that even after dodging 20 games in a row, you will gain your true rank back very quickly. One caveat, you never dodge in promos. Dodging in promos is treated like a hidden loss and will lower your MMR. You have to play them. The last tip for climbing, be aware of ego depletion. Your mind works like a muscle. It is scientifically proven that willpower is a limited resource and the more you focus on willpower demanding tasks, such as not greeting for that extra minion wave because you know that you lack vision of the area and the enemy jungler will likely kill you if you try, the more of that resource is depleted. Consequently, in your first game of the day you will make more crisp decisions than in your seventh. So after you notice ego depletion kicking in, you should also stop playing ranked for the day. The mind-muscle analogy, however, does hold a lot of truth. If you are a big brain person, you might still be on top of your game after playing for 5 hours, and if you are not, well, your willpower resource will grow long term if you use it regularly, just like a muscle. 
If you want to improve your game as much as possible, you can check out my other guides by clicking the link on your screen right there.